Hey guys, welcome to today's basic science class. This morning, we'll be talking about solar system. We'll be discussing rotation and revolution as we go on. And let's have our objectives. At the end of this class, I expect you to be able to define the solar system, describe the components of the solar system, and discuss the position of the Earth in rotation and revolution. Now let's talk about the definition of solar system. Solar system is a gravitationally bound system of the sun and everything that orbits around it. That's all the heavenly bodies that orbit around the sun. Then we say the planets occupy more space around the sun, followed by the dwarf planets, e.g. the Pluto, and other small solar system bodies. Now, let's look at the picture of the solar system. We we'll see the sun around this area. We we'll see the sun around this area. This is the sun. And the closest planet to the sun is the Mercury. This is a revision class, something we already know. The Mercury, the Venus is the next to the Mercury. And we know the Venus as the hottest and not the Mercury. Why? Because Mercury lacks atmosphere to retain the heat from the sunlight and it passes it on to the Venus. So we say the Venus is the hottest planet. After the Venus comes the Earth. That's where we are. And after the Earth we have the Mars, the Jupiter, the Saturn, the Uranus, the Neptune. Of course we know the Pluto is already out of um, the planets that we have because it's now very small and it doesn't retain most of the properties of the planet. Rotation of the Earth. Now, the first thing we need to know here is that the Earth rotates about its axis. It's just like someone rolling around a particular spot. Now, it does this in a counterclockwise direction. Not a clockwise, but a counterclockwise direction. And as a result of this, the sun rises in the east, from the east, and sets in the west. Now, the Earth rotates round its axis. It takes just 24 hours, or we'll just say one day. It takes 24 hours or one day for the Earth to rotate round its axis. And this will lead to day and night. Now, what am I trying to say? When the Earth is rotating towards the sun, we are experiencing day, daytime. But when it's going away from the sun, we are experiencing the night. And let's talk about revolution of the Earth. The Earth revolves around the sun's orbit. Now, remember what I said from the last slide. The Earth rotates about its own axis, but revolves around the sun's orbit. Now, how long does the Earth um, do this? It does this in 35, uh, 365 days or 365 days one quarter, which is also 366 days. That's in a leap year, we have 366 um, days. Then it results to seasonal changes, that's a year. Revolution of the Earth will result to a year. What are these seasonal changes? We have two seasons in Nigeria, that's a dry and a wet season. And we have four seasons in the USA or UK, then we have them as the summer season, the winter, the autumn, and the spring. I would expect you to find me the months and dates that are attached to all these uh, seasons. Now let's talk about the moon before we wrap up for today. The natural satellite of the Earth is known as the moon. And it's also the fifth largest satellite in the solar system. The moon is not luminous, but it reflects the, um, the light from the sun. It rotates around the Earth in about 27 to 28 days, but we go for 28 days. And this is known as the lunar month. Now let's talk about waxing and whirling of the moon in my next slide. Now look at this picture. Waxing of the moon, we have the moon at the upper part and we have whirling at the lower part. Waxing of the moon means the moon coming out. This is a new moon, you can't see anything. But when it starts waxing, the coming out of the moon, it starts coming out as an arc and from there to a quarter 
and bear to a gibbous uh, moon, a waxing gibbous moon. Then from that to a full moon. So it starts from nothing to a full moon. That's why we say we are having waxing of the moon. Then waning of the moon is when the moon starts from a full moon and it starts to reduce in size until it gets to one in crescent. And from one in crescent, it turns to no moon at all. Then the whole cycle starts all over again. So from no moon to a full moon and from a full moon to no moon. That is what waxing and warning mean. With this, I come to the end of this class. I'll be meeting you in the Google Classroom. You have your class tasks to do. Please make sure you attend to them. And any question you have, please let it slide through the comment section. For now, stay safe and bye.